Hello and welcome to Armored Cast Live Edition. We're actually doing this live on Twitch this time, which you can find in the link in the description below. Today we're talking about the new best weapon in the game being LCS, because good lord, this thing is absolutely brutal. We are talking about the results of the 3v3 tournament that Dirt Donk hosted last weekend and what the 3v3 meta is at this moment. And also general improvements to the game that From Software desperately needs to make. Hopefully you all enjoy ArmorCast. Again, this is a podcast, but because it is live on Twitch, there is a lot more visual things to look at. So if you enjoyed that, there, well, there you go. <laughs> and keep in mind, gamers, that I am doing a preset tournament this weekend, this Sunday at 11 a.m. CST. Definitely check out the links in the description below to find out how to sign up for that. There's a $150 prize pool for that tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll see you there. Enjoy the podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Armored Cast, an Armored Core 6 PvP State of the Game podcast. And today I have with me Dirk Donk. Hello. And Bulls. Hola. <laughs> and I also have Monster Energy, which is keeping me awake because I am tired as all hell. We were talking about what needs buffs and what needs nerfs, and we were doing that a bit before we actually started recording. And we decided just to get out of the way. The LCS is just absolutely freaking broken. This thing is so gosh darn strong. If you ever heard us talk about Lobster, uh, the double LRB, double LCS build, this is what enables that build. It is just absolutely broken. Yeah, as it turns out, if you just swap out the LRBs for uh, nearly anything, it's still pretty good. Double Ludlow. <laughs> double Ludlow is still good with this thing. You could run double yep. Ludlow. You could run double Turner if you want to. You could run, run double Turner. wheelchair with double redshift. Let's go. Dude, yeah, you could run. Redshift, the classic. You could run double Turner LCS on a lightweight and still kick ass. This thing is just heavily overtuned. It is, it is just absolutely broken. I'm actually just going to... Yeah, it's pretty it. easy to see why when you pull up the stats, too. 925 attack power, all right? 500 impact, so basically like a 2 to 1 damage to impact. But then if I look down a little bit further at... Uh, where's that reload time? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> actually, I'm, I am actually blind right now. Uh, you're I'm looking at more of, of cooling right there. So you're looking yeah. for... Uh, because this thing, you can fire it three times before you even have to give an four. absolute shit. Is it four? Is it actually four? Is this thing better than I even think it is? I think it's four, man. Let me just go test it. <laughs> I'm testing it right now, dude. Rapid fire 0.7. Good lord. So watch this look. Uh, One. That's why. Two. It is four. That's so gross, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and that's if you're firing as fast as possible, which is once every like 1.34 seconds. Like, you know, it's right in that range. You can just shoot this thing all the time. And oh uh, the cumulative impact being 180, like, isn't much. But when you're putting out a thousand at once when you fire both <laughs> your back weapons, it's, you know. Dude, I'm really probably going to stagger someone eventually. Yeah. Dude, I'm running. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm putting on the 20 C gen right now. 2,172 whenever you shoot it. <laughs> Whenever you shoot both at the same time, and if you get a direct hit, yeah, it's just gonna go out. It's about and it scales off your generator, but I just run Coral Gen because, like, why not? Yeah, it really doesn't need at the 150 yeah. or even the 128. Like, the 128 is a nice bonus, but but the, the numbers are high enough Coral to begin Gen's, with, like, not really significant. No, it's, it's like not, it's like a, it's a 12% damage buff, I believe. Yep, which, like, yep. When, you, when you see numbers like that, it's like I could put on. Let's see, what's the lowest EM firearm spec what generator in the game? The link the link tie, I can't run that. i put it, I'm just gonna put on Joso and just like take off shit. Let's see, let's do that. And then we put on where's the EN load? There we go, right there. This mega low EN load. Actually, where's my ephemeral core? There we go, and I can run it. Awesome. So this is uh this is the worst gen in the game that you can run with this. This is Joso gen. Pretty much damage it still does. 1,638. On an uncharged hit. This is gross, right? Like, this is disgusting. And then on a direct hit, look how much it does. It's almost 3,000 on direct hit. Uncharged. Yep. Look, and look. it's ready a second later again. Yeah, it's like, if I have to, if I ever, like, actually just overheat it, look how fast this thing cools down. Hey, I actually thought something disgusting to do with this. Why don't you run double hand missiles so you get the, both, the best of both words? You can, like, rat and then if they're up close, you yep. know? Oh no, pulse. Yeah, but you, no. you you don't ever you don't ever charge these things, Pubsy. Ever, ever, ever. Oh, by the way, we're live today because we were we reached the sub goal of three hundred, so we're doing a uh, an armored cast live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't mention that yet, but here we are. Uh, so this will be a much more visual armored cast than what you're all used to. 
I'm still gonna talk about, uh, you know, just the weapons in general. But the cooling on this thing is just ridiculous. It's like up like maybe a second or two later after you finish all of it. I don't have the exact number here, but it's just, this thing is ridiculous, especially with the LRBs, which is why the lobster exists. You ever heard of say lobster? Or and you're wondering, what the heck does that mean? Uh, one alpha video explaining the whole like lingo, like what the game, like the whole like lingo about the game, so like that at some point. But it's just, it is just, this thing is so gross, man. It, it weighs so half as much as a Karasawa. <laughs> half as much? Are you kidding me? That's a, that's a fact. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Yep, it's heavier than the Walter rifle by almost the same amount. Uh, that's 9,000 compared to 5,000. That's so uh, gross, dude. What else is really funny to compare it to? <laughs> Bro, did you see what I just did? I threw this one together in two and a half seconds. Look. Die. <laughs> uh, lobster's really funny. Uh, this is not even like an optimized one, by the way. You can run stuff like, uh, like, where is it? Current stuff like 40A, core. And uh, I think you'd run even like VP44D head, can't you? Yeah, I think so. You just gotta run a different, it's a different gen, or I forget, I forget how you make this not overburdened, but you can very much so. Praise the larb. Honestly, don't praise the larb. I hate this thing. <laughs> yeah, and the, the problems that really arise when you put it on a, a very high defense heavyweight, which when you have high defense in this game, you're gonna ricochet just about anything that isn't explosive anywhere, but like close to medium range. So they are forced into what's known as the danger zone with the larb where mm. all four of these high damage lasers are just slapping you in the face. Yeah. God help you if there's latency. This is the <laughs> highest DPS build in the game by a decent amount. And look how much stability I have right there. It's 2,294 for those listening. That is disgusting. That is so gross. It's like good luck ever like stunning, like ever staggering me when I can just fire lasers at you like this and just kill you from this far away. Yep. The yep. counter then being ratting with missiles, the one thing that can actually outrange it. Yes, because if you look at my uh, speed, bounce. yes, because look at my speed, I'm at 401 uh, assault boost speed. Just cru let's cruise assault boost speed, and yep. this is on coral. And those by the lasers way. have high like accuracy at range too. So when the rat's yes. trying to run away, you have a decent chance if you time it right of just clipping them for like two, AP for lead. Then you just damage. go hide. <laughs> yep. And this is why the rat. This is why rats are kind of necessary in this meta. Or you just become larb dittos. You just become lobster dittos. Which is just, you know, it's not super fun to watch. Like, in my opinion, I actually enjoy watching rats because rats are like really high skill for the most part. It's like you have to, you have to like dodge super duper well, or you just die, or you're just dead. Because you know, larb does so much fucking damage; it's insane. Another trash thing about doing larb is just, they're just gonna be heavy. It's just based on EN defense, right? You get like an extra hundred compared to the quad or some ridiculous number. Yeah, I mean, a heavy biped, like, with, uh, with snail legs is probably the, uh... Might be one of the best versions of the quad, of the larb, if not the best one, because look the at that, boat uh, legs are actually not bad, either. They have high end. The, really? Yeah, and they, you also get that oh, speed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's actually not bad. I wonder what the, uh, what the assault boost speed on this bad boy is. 404, so actually I'm losing a lot of speed, either. And you can oh, still yeah. move so, while shooting. If you get rid of Burzel, you can just run that and get your speed again. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, honestly, it's just... The, what we're trying to say is, this is the problem for the competitive yeah. scene. Yep, this is and, the new problem. Well, yep. it was a problem, but without Zimmerman to whap it in uh, close quarters, mm. now only Rat counters it. Yeah, it's like, I used to have two counters. One was Zimmerman, one was, uh, it was basically a build like this. Let me, let me make it real quick. So we had, you had funny Vero legs. Of course you did. They were absolutely broken before. They're still kind of broken, but you know. And then you basically had two Zims, a, uh, a cool shield, and a, let me find it, where is it? Zim, Zim, uh, laser drones, and coral shield is what you had, and that was the that was the build. This was the this was the basically the meta build. Oh, Nick Cage, thanks yep. for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. But Good anyway, luck cracking this open. Yeah. So basically, this was the uh, this was the build. It was uh, it was just kick loops with with dual Zim. You would assault boost towards your opponent. You'd shoot Zim, you'd kick, and then you would kick, and you would shoot Zim again. They had Coral Shield for just a bunch more defenses, and you had, you know, Laser Turrets for the big, huge directed damage hit. Which is probably why, why did Laser Drones not get nerfed, by the way? That's kind of crazy. I don't know. Oh, no. They've always felt fine to me. They're strong, but... Like, they're good, but... They're not they, they have reliable. to direct hit me. Otherwise, yeah. they're not going to hit me. That's a good point. 
not even that good at the game. Like, I think people are probably pretty capable of avoiding him. Yeah, especially they just might tickle you every now and then. So I'm seeing a lot more lightweights now because you know, if if you if you can beat Larb with a with a rat, well, how how much of a dedicated rat do you have to make it? Can you make a can you rat and beat a Larb with it with a uh, beat a lobster? Like, I want to start calling it lobster by the way because Larb is like really annoying to say, and we have already have like the rat and the cat. So, I'll explain what those are yep. later. But oh, the, uh, what a rat build is by the way is extremely extreme. I need to explain what this is because it's very important. So I, again, I plan on making a video explaining all this at some point. It is basically a... Actually, I have a rat I can just jump to, because there is, there is a really cool de redevelopment in rats where they're starting to use Aurora. Have you noticed this? Have you seen this, Balls? This yeah, really actually, cool Aurora. Yeah, one talked about it to me, yeah. Yeah, Aurora on rat, which is like a really fucking cool idea. Where's my rat gaming build? Is it... Where is it? There it is, rat gaming. I'm gonna load this up. So this is a rat. Basically, it's as fast as humanly possible on a lightweight without sacrificing a ton of defenses, like you're not running full jailbreak or anything like that. But the idea is basically to run away from your opponent the entire game and fire missiles. A lot of people find this playstyle really annoying. I find it pretty engaging to watch as a viewer and also to, you know, play against as a player because the second I catch you, it's like me when I fucking get you. You know that meme? That's basically the whole, the whole fucking playstyle. Yep, when you finally find that rat that's been shooting missiles at you all game. Exactly. Because you're, you're at 563 cruise speed, which is a lot. Like, that's an insane amount. And then you also have just like some absurd DPS now that the yeah, Aurora has been buffed so much. I think it's kind of insane, actually. Sure is out. It's like if you look at the DPS, and I know this target is not moving, but you can still see how like kind of ridiculous this damage can get. Uh, so basically, you're just go hoping to either kill the opponent before they can kill you, or you know run out the timer, because you will you will run away, shoot missile, run away, shoot missile. That's that's the whole point of the build. And why this beats Lob is be Lobster is because they can never catch up to you because they're a heavyweight. Because you have to run a heavyweight on that build. You can run like a lighter version of it, but you're just gonna die <laughs> to like other heavy lobsters. So like, what's the point? So it's like this is a this is the current meta. Is it, it is rat, cat, and lobster. What a cat is, it's a build that's assigned to catch a rat. It's like losing like 50 points of speed, but you have way more defenses and way more damage. Yep. He'll so have a hard time with a lobster, but he'll eat a rat. Exactly. So that, that's kind of like the, the pseudo RPS. And why I say pseudo RPS is because you can make builds that are like hybrids, basically. You can make like a rat and a cat, or a build that is capable of ratting, that kind of stuff. Now, so like, uh, what I mean by that is something like this. Uh, I'm actually just going to make a uh, Sea Knight's build real quick. So Sea Knight's a really good player. They're absolutely fucking insane at the game. And they have a few notable placements in tournaments. I believe they won Polaroids tournament that was recent, and also uh, got like I think third in the American Polaroids. Tournament. Unless there's another one. Oh, you won Polaroids. I see. He got second though, I believe. Yeah. Well, there you go. He got second. But anyway, so it's like it's like this right here, and you basically have like let's see. I think it was Coral Gen. I forget what, what gen they're running. I was putting the VB20D because it's really good in SLT. And then I won Burzel because everyone's running Burzel because Burzel's Burzel's another issue that we got to talk about at some point. It's like, Burzel's insane, guys. Like, it, it's just kind of ridiculous. And by kind of, I mean extremely. Yeah, yeah. it's like the it's best a, booster in the game. You know, but, everyone has booster on the, uh, the lobster. It's a fixture on the rat and the cat. I think this is it, or at least it's uh, close to it. Going as fast as possible is good. Taking less stagger damage is good. Being able to kick is good. Why not assault boost? Exactly. What is this monstrosity I'm looking at? What so this is so this is C Knight's build. The whole point of it is the oh, okay. uh, the kick into um, plasma thrower combo. So basically, what um, what C Knight does is they try to give up as much stagger as possible with their uh, with their missiles. You know, kind of like a rat. And then the second you're able, you get to that point, they'll kick you into plasma thrower and do a ton of damage, and then run away again. That's the yeah. idea. So it, it's like a pseudo rat with a shield too. So it can actually do well against lobsters. Like this is like. This what I this is what's interesting to me about this game. We're getting close to the perfect build. We really are. Because like once we find a build that can beat lobster, can beat rat, and can beat cat, we find the perfect build and we're getting close to it. It's some sort of hybrid of the three. Which is interesting. Why to tetrapod legs for uh for more speed? Because yeah, uh, we have 522 so you can catch a rat. But if I put on uh the put on the fort VP424, you're at 474. Which, uh, good luck catching a rat that's 100 more speed than you. 
Yeah, that's getting into the uh, good luck category. Yeah, exactly. Especially with someone like Kine or uh, or Disco, who's just insane at, at ratting. It's funny. There's like a weird rat trio happening with her with some of her really good players. It's like the rat pope, the rat king, and what the rat bishop, I think. It's something weird. But yeah, uh, that's what's currently still broken. I mean, the patch was good overall. A lot of things are better. Kinetics, oh, besides dude. shotguns and a few handguns, are still pretty bad. The patch saves so many people's interest in the game. Like, it's kind of insane how good the patch is. Like, it, I, I am so fucking hopeful that all these things will be fixed. Like, I, I legitimately, I legitimately do. Because the patch was blissful. They didn't nerf Gatling Gun, which I didn't... Did, Bose, didn't you have, like, a, a bet with somebody that they were going to nerf Gatling Gun? Even yeah. though Hella didn't need it? No, no, no. Tosi said since um, their patching might be so awful, they might just nerf Gat because people complain about it. And it's like, and they're not going to touch Zimmerman's. We're both wrong, but, you know. <laughs> you bet they wouldn't touch Zimmerman, really? Yeah, I, I have almost had like zero faith in what their patching would be. Well, yeah. are, you, are you happy with the patch as a competitive player? Yeah, but I just play LARP, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, there you go. Like, you lost one of your builds. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. My shoes. You took them. My shoes. <laughs> I have another pair. It's okay. <laughs> oh, my, my God. My flip flops on. It's okay. So, with that being said, uh, we could talk about. What's going on with 3v3? That's true. I had you did so much uh, fun. You did we've talked it. so much about 1v1s throughout the, <laughs> the last few episodes. That's true. You did... You, now, Dirk, you did do a uh, you did do a 3v3 tournament this past weekend. Tell us how that went. I think it went pretty well. We definitely got a, a note sheet of, uh, of things that I can do to improve the whole flow of things in the... Some formatting changes here and there, but overall, as far as like the combat goes, it was uh, hard to take my eyes off of it. It was a lot of fun. I wish Ew. I wasn't extremely dead tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's, it's a lot to watch, really. Like, there's so much going on. Um, where in a 1v1, you can kind of break down in each movement that a player is doing, because uh, mm. there isn't really much else happening. You know, it's really just one player and one player. But with 3v3, there's constant action that you can uh, shift around to. The one issue is the uh, camera angles, I would say. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's so weird because, like, when, especially when you have two casters. We'll talk about the actual meta in a, in a bit. But once we, uh, when you have two casters watching the uh, the same game and you're trying to coordinate, I was like, okay, let's just follow the VIP. Let's just follow the VIP, whatever. It's like, it was so difficult because, like, we want to watch everyone. There's six perspectives here. Like, we can... You can pretty easily see what's happening whenever it's a 1v1, because, like, one person watches one, the other person watches the other, or you just both watch, you know, the same one. It doesn't really matter too much. But I could be commenting something that's completely different from what Dirk's seeing, because there's, like, three 1v1s happening at once. Yeah, exactly. Um, which could be good, it could be bad. Um, but I think what we really want to touch on is the meta, right? Like, oh, what yeah. works, what doesn't. Because we just talked about Larpsters and Rats. Yeah, that's the 1v1 meta, um, now the 3v3 meta, which is actually kind of sick, not gonna lie. It's kind of a mix of all of it. Uh, your team should probably have a rat, maybe. Uh, having a larpster is 100% cash money value. I mean, it fucking is... bulls here putting up high scores a lot during the tournament. My god. Yeah, and I was a little fucked up too during the tournament. I was like, up until like finals, actually like sobered up a little bit. Oh no, poor bulls. <laughs> <laughs> We might have to investigate performance decreasing substance use. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, like, we saw it, Bulls, it was your team that brought out an all-lobster team, uh, which was yeah. like, beautiful we, to see. Well, we it gave it the old-fashioned try, man. <laughs> it was really yeah. funny, and the best part is, it didn't work. That's what's actually yeah. really funny. Because, so, like, so let's, we're, let's, we're talk, you're talking about Farquads at the end, right? Yeah, so... Yep. Real quick, let's talk about what the meta is real quick. Let's talk about what the meta is real quick. Like, what is what is the perfect team in your eyes, Dirk Dong, for 3v3s? From what you've seen so far. Uh, from what I've seen so far, mm -hmm. uh, you probably want, like, four missile launchers somewhere on your team. Maybe, like, split between players, but at least four, maybe six. Like, you can run 2-2-2, two, 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 whatever. Um, lasers are bussin'. Uh, your team should probably have a bunch of lasers. And if it's not a laser, probably an earshot. Uh, manual aim earshots Very good. just accumulate so much value throughout the tournament. When you can manual aim and hit more than one person at once, or even if you miss one, another might fly into the radius, like locking on makes that much harder to do. Manual aiming, totally the way. And you can still lock missiles while you're manual aiming. So 
why not run a build that was very popular during the tournament uh double hand missile the four pack with two ear shots yeah uh -oh. uh, that build was so devastating farquad actually one well, one of the winners of the tournament actually was was running that and good lord dude the fact that like you can just fly around and shoot at enemies the entire game and just sometimes they don't even fuck with you is kind of absurd it was like this exactly. i think i think it was like this exact uh, build even you think gave him that idea <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, and it's not a it's not a cat, it's not a rat, really, and it's not a lobster, but it's kind of meta in three v three. It's yeah. uh the reason it's good because you can like capitalize on with your teammates, right? Like someone for example, actually. Let's... Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, you oh. go ahead. I was the one who right. rude. <laughs> oh, I was just saying, like for example, let's say like, hey, I'm gonna stagger this guy. Shoot double ear shots. Go stagger everything in the game. They get staggered, then they just get deleted. Right. Yep. Very much so. If they run the armor, like the non-TA, they, if they run the other one, it can eat through the armor and almost cause another stagger bar. It's ridiculous. It's almost like assault so armoring gross. someone when you drop both of your shots on them. It, it's it legitimately just so gross. everything but TA. You have to run TA in this meta. Oh yeah. Especially when yeah. you're running ear shots. It's not. And even it's if not, someone's it's not staggered, uh, those are two thousand raw damage each with mm -hmm. like what a 1 1.2, 1.3 multiplier. That's yeah. still a lot of damage, you know. It's so it's just always valuable. And the, they the flip reduce side the of that is, time. if someone's already staggered, you just shoot them. You eat like take like 10k AP from them, or some ridiculous number. You know, depends. Oh, on Oh, one point four five. Why is it one point four five from soft? <laughs> what are you doing? Why did they buff the reload speed of any? If anything, about the reshot without touching the damage at all. I don't know. It's funny it's though. Me. I kind of I didn't it's mind funny. watching it, uh, it's but funny, they were though. definitely popular. Running yeah. all with them. I don't think would work very well, and a lot of people have told it would me lose it to like work a well. lightweight team. Exactly, and lightweights <laughs> work well in threes because uh, you're kind check. of getting evaporated no matter how heavy you are. Guys, yeah. I can't even check how much damage direct hit double ear shot does because the tester AC dies. Yeah, it'd be like that. <laughs> anyway, so this was basically the uh, th this was basically the the far quad build. I don't know exactly what their their head and core were, but I know what the legs and the arms were. And, you know the weapons and all kind of stuff basically the entire idea was to just fly in the air and just shoot down double your shots with like a manual aim and uh, the, honestly the reason you wouldn't do this on tetrapod is just because uh big stinky slow. target slower like you want to be able to get into position with this thing and drop the ear shots it can also rat a little bit i mean it's not the fastest rat obviously but burzel on a medium can move were they in burzel or gridwalker i thought they were running burzel um, he was actually running the P10 because you forgot. They're in the P10, really? Yeah, I was running Burzal when I was using him. No, Farquaad's using P10 because he just simply forgot he had it on. Oh, <laughs> so it wasn't it wasn't like by choice. It was just like an accidental thing. Yeah, uh, yeah they're an alright booster. I don't hate it. I've been enjoying the SPD a lot, but someone actually did come up with the idea for the name of this build for like a, a to keep with our the 7,000 damage. By the way, what the heck? Uh, but yeah, the yeah the the name for this was like the vulture was an idea, which I thought was really cool because like you're just waiting you're for like hand your... shot, dude. Hand shot? <laughs> That's not an ammo though. That doesn't stick with the theme of rat, cat, lobster. You know. Oh, so what's up, Bitsy? How you doing? I'm sorry, I'm not reading chat a lot, guys. We are we are <laughs> we are focused. But basically, the essence of the build, you either negate or like. Do the stagger or you capitalize on someone else's stagger. It's a it's ridiculous. Exactly. Especially in 3v3s three where communication is so important. Because what you do is you're like saying, hey, let's focus this guy, let's focus this guy. And then you just exactly. obliterate them. Which is why terminal armor is so and good. You have because a stagger on command, you can predict your own stagger. You're like, I'm right above this guy, I don't remember him. So you call it out before you do it because it's basically guaranteed. Exactly. And the thing is, like, you basically what's up? Like why why you why you run terminal armor? Is to, you don't insta die. <laughs> you don't insta die because like let, let's say they they obliterate your entire HP. Let's say you're running like a bone mizza tank. Like this happened to I think Blend was running a bone mizza tank for a while there, mm -hmm. and you they just get your your HP just goes from like full to zero immediately. Then you yep. at least have 16k five seconds. damage just like that. Mm -hmm. You at least have five seconds of breathing room. You can actually do damage and attack them back. But with yep. with pulse armor, you could die before it even comes out because if you look at the uh, if you look at the time it takes, if you pop pulse armor. You're 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 vulnerable that entire time. I yep, believe you you're get taking iframe. damage throughout that animation. I believe you get iframes once the shield actually comes up, but before then you're just fucked. You just you just die. Yep. Now plenty of armor, time to die. Let's see. Can I? Will this guy do enough damage to me to actually make me die? 
No. While doing anyway. it? No, his machine gun sucks. <laughs> I didn't realize he only had one weapon. It's funny as hell. And I was making a trend yeah. there, see. Anyway, so, I while I wait for that to happen, more. be nice. I, I, I'm just going to wait for the trainer to kill me. But anyway, so. But yeah, so more terminal armor value, right? So, like, say you're playing this build here with the uh, ear shots, the hand missiles. You get your terminal armor popped. You assault boost around. And uh, the other team maybe switches targets. They don't want to shoot terminal armor. If you get an extra ear shot off or two or three or four or seven, like, you, like freaking Farquad did in Grands, where they just hit one AP exactly. the entire game and just ran around going, Poo, Poo. you're just getting a lot of extra value. That's, you know, anyway, we're, we're the right last AP is the most important one. It's instant. And look how much time I have to just run around, shoot ear shots and just chill. You know what I mean? Like, look which value I'm getting out of the, uh, well, I, I died, but you know what I mean? Anyway, so that's like that's a lot of value, especially when the team is now focusing on another enemy, and they want to they want to make sure that you keep that in the back of their head that they need to finish you off, but they might just forget, which is kind of crazy to say. But I mean that that's what happened in the tournament. Like I'll be real. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Yes, so but uh, we did see um, a lot of different teams, really. It was really uh, cool. Like RJ's actually made an appearance. Uh, there was one player who was playing a RJ rat, but not ratting, and just throwing out that RJ kick constantly to it was so stun cool. people. It was so cool, like the entire time. I think it was Balrog you're thinking of, who uh, yep. was a fucking incredible player. And what they did was they fired a bunch of missiles, ran with the missiles, and kicked. It was so freaking cool. It was awesome. Yep. Uh, so those kind of like lightweight builds that can like get in, hit someone, get out, and like, especially being hard to hit. Uh, when there's, you know, 15k per second coming around, when coordinated teams are focusing targets, it doesn't really hurt you that much to play an RJ. Sure, you have less stability, but uh, it doesn't matter. Double ear shot would have staggered you either way. Double Might ear as well shot. be able to jump away from it. Double ear <laughs> shot does um, 2,900 and, actually, you know, 2,000... Yeah, about about uh, three thousand and ten, I think. Unless I'm stupid and bad at math. Am I stupid and bad at math? Fourteen thousand fifty five times two. It's like twenty nine ten or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So you're probably getting staggered, even if you're a heavy bipod. Yeah. Even if you're whatever. So, two thousand nine hundred and ten is what it does. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that. You know, play what you want <laughs> in threes, especially if you're playing casual threes. But even in competitive, like if you're good at a build. And it complements your teammates. Send it, you know. I legit yep. think you have more build variety in threes than you do in one v ones, which is kind of funny. Definitely. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. The staple builds are definitely still there. You know, you can bring a larpster on your team and have them top frag a hundred percent of the time. Like, I bring bulls with me when I'm playing offline if I want to have a good night because he'll just finish <laughs> every single kill. <laughs> or four bazooka. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. So we brought a. Uh, we brought 12 bazookas with us. Oh, you God. Know, two in the hands, two in the hangers. That's a lot of bazookas, that dude. That can get crazy. We're a good old time. <laughs> yeah, people get bounced around so much from all the explosions while they're staggered. Uh, you can spike people into the pit, you know, send them into the hole. <laughs> oh, we all and, run noodle beam, dude. It was so funny. <laughs> and with their upgraded, like, projectile speed and their amazing hit rate, Three people shooting them at once. Even if you're in the air, you you should you're pretty screwed. Yeah. Right, we should probably talk about bazookas a bit because we actually mentioned these uh, last time on Armorcast. Y'all went on that, but majestic. So we actually learned more mechanical stuff when it comes to uh like the bazookas and stuff like that. Grenade launchers, we weird in your head they worked, but now we know exactly how the proximity degradation works on bazookas. So after 90 meters on a majestic, I'm just gonna use majestic because it's the best one. So I'm just gonna use that as a base. Um. It will like gain an air, like a proximity detonation, like basically uh, a, a proximity detonation property where it will just fucking explode when it's near an opponent. It's not lag, it's not a huge hitbox, it's just a mechanic in the game that they added. Oh. Did you not know this? Okay. No, I did not. <laughs> Let me show you real quick. So, yeah, that's why they'll kind of whiff at point blank sometimes. Get this out. So, if I go to manual aim, money show, you know, you give them at 90, and that's perfect. Let me let me get my 90 real quick. So if I go right here. Yeah, te technically the hitbox gets bigger, but check this out. I think I was too far away. Look at that right there, see? It just fucking explodes. Damn. See what I mean? Damn. 
It's uh, kind of gross, huh? Yeah. You shoot yeah. logs at people, I meaning it just explodes, but you know. Yeah, but check yeah. this out. So, so if we I, brought if 12 I get... of those things. Good luck dodging. <laughs> if I get a bit closer, though. See? It doesn't do that. Can you, can you show the people the uh, the wheelchair striker? Do you know how to do that? Uh, teach me real quick and I'll do it. Sure. So just get a wheelchair and equip the Majestics in your hands and then the uh, Iridium? Gay in the back. Oh, it's Gay. Yeah, you want to get them shits popping. Because uh, what you're going to do is you're going to fire, like, say your right hand or whatever. You're going to quick boost. And while you're quick boosting, you want to be swapping the bazooka that you fired. And then you want to shoot the left hand as soon as the quick boost ends and then quick boost again. And you're just going to go through all four bazookas. Just bang, 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 bang. Yeah, I've seen this tech before. It, it, it's just kind of gross. I, just gotta get I can't do it some trash, but I know it's cool. <laughs> what do you mean you're trash? You win tournaments all the time. Calm down. <laughs> Try to go like two and then two. Two and then two, I find I can do pretty consistently. So you just like shoot, quick boost, shoot, swaps. My issue is that I use, uh, I use mouse, uh, I use, I use my fucking mouse buttons to do this. It's hard for Yeah, me it's easiest use. to hard lock because you're just hitting so many mouse buttons. Yeah, I can imagine so. So like you basically do... Zwangi, swap Gronzi. Yep. Majestic, swap Majestic. Yeah, right there. See, I just did it there. But yeah, so this might actually become a meta build. Like, Bazooka Wheelchair might become really fucking good. We saw... Uh, it's in the it's no hectic tournament, we to saw, fight, even with a shield. In a, in No Bands, in the No Bands tournament we did a few days ago. Not a few days ago, like last week. Almost exactly last week, even. Uh, Tiku actually ran a Quadzooka Quad, or Tetrapod. But with we just, you know, this exact setup, I believe there were Iridiums instead of Guan Z or Zwan G. And the whole idea was just, I'm just going to keep shooting bazookas at you and you're going to die eventually. Yep. That like, was... screw the stagger multiplier. Don't need it. Look at the, look at the impact damage on these suckers. Dude, it's so look at their cumulative impact, like their rate of fire. Everything about them is just built to stagger and then stagger and then stagger. You know, you won't kill them in the first stagger or even the second one sometimes, but... You'll do it so fast that the fight still ends incredibly quick. Yeah, as you can see, like, look at the train, the tester AC's health already. And on top of this, you can still kick because you're still a tetrapod, you know? A uh, hundred. So, we got to talk a little bit about the, uh, the tetrapod's kick and, like, how it's still just kind of amazing. Yeah, it's definitely still good, but... Uh, in the same breath, like, we used to see it all the time in 3v3. It was almost essential to bring one. It was more popular than tank. Um, and after the patch, with, with the change to HP and the reduction in the hitbox, and especially the damage it does, like, we don't, we didn't see any. It's actually pretty low tier in four. threes. Yeah, yeah, like, none in the top four. So you can't LARP with it, because you're just going to beat up by a heavy LARPster, and you can't rat with it. So yeah. what do you do with it, you know what I mean? And you eat missiles a lot easier than most other builds, too. So the Lobster in 3, and again, I want to I I run this home. So, because I had a lot of comments, even though we explained it a few times. So I had a lot of comments that, like, asked what, what, what a Lobster was, what, you know, whatever this is. A Lobster, just, you know, lay it out again. Lobster is double LRB, double LCS. So these weapons right here. You would rock two of these. I'm just going to make a Lobster right now, just to, just to show y'all. So double LRB. Where does the other be? There it is. And then here's the other one, but right there. You put on Coral Gen, because Coral Gen helps you chase, which is very strong. You put on, like, a mid-range FCS, like the uh, PO5, something like that. I like the bottom one. I love the bottom one. Yeah. The bottom, the bottom one? You mean one. SML? Yeah, the, the one that has, like, the best stats in the game in general. The I mean, very the, the WLT? Yeah. yeah WLT yeah. is fucking incredible. Yeah, might run as well these. if you're doing Coral Gen. Mine Alpha Arms, you'd run the 20A. Right there, right there. There you go. The 40A, sorry, 40A. And then sort of the heck kid, you want probably mind out, mind uh, beta, the best one. But yeah, you just for real, but you can run whatever; it doesn't really matter. Yeah, for real is probably better actually for this build. So you, you basically this is this is your lobster. It's uh, it's actually decently fast at four uh, at four ten speed. Basically, shoot like this, and you just kill the opponent. They're they're just dead. Yep. Good night. Have a good yep. time. So that's your lobster, and then you have your rat, and you have your cat. A rat build is just. Double MLTO4s. Double, um, I don't know, I'll grab just like VPMs, whatever. Double VPMs. Like just whatever missiles you want to run in the game, actually. Probably run this and then give me. Yeah, the goal is to not get shot ever anyway, so does exactly. it really matter? It does not, no. 
That's actually, if you're wondering why the Fermezal eggs didn't get buffed, it's because of the rat, by the way. That's what I think. I'm pretty confident that's why, because Fermezal eggs got, uh, I believe they got actually nerfed, didn't they? Fermezal eggs are strong as is. Yeah, uh, so really, like, they have great load capacity, which enables, like, higher firepower lightweights, this which is your... are usually pretty strong. This is your rat build right here, where you just kind of run away the whole game, shoot missiles. I actually like watching rats because I'm insane, but also, like, the fact that you can go through They're fun as hell to watch in threes, like... Rats oh, yeah. trying to escape from like one or two people while their teammates help them out or like or while three, waiting for a teammate to respawn nice. is so much fun. It's awesome. Or uh, like we saw, I'm, I'm, I'll send you the clip for this. Uh, you can put it in here for people later. Ah, but, making me do more editing like, work? Dude, that's messed up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing the hard part for you. Collecting. The uh, clip when we tabbed over to Farquad at the end of a match it was down to uh less than one kill split five seconds on the so clock far quads at one ap no terminal armor what's he doing we tab over to him sitting in a corner yeah hidden just just hoping no one sees him clock ticks down and that's you know that's it and then you have uh like it was a fucking hilarious moment but then you have a cat which is usually something like uh like double laser pistols or double harris or double uh or double rnc2 rf just any any form of like more DPS, like a mid-range option that uh, that you can just run on like a lighter rate build and just beat a rat out like just completely because you're fast enough to catch up to them and you have way more DPS and way more defense than them. So you just kind of stat check a rat. That's the idea. So yeah, that, that's what the current meta is in 3v3s. That's what the builds are. I forget what we were talking about before I decided to go on my rant talking about what the, exactly the builds are. Um, <laughs> Well, 3v3 play style I think is kind of on the table. We talked about 3v3 meta and that's, that's you know... Play, play more different things. There's a lot of good things. Yeah. Plays is good, your shot's good, whatever. But uh, play style is actually like hyper important threes on top of communication. So like obviously you want to focus targets, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you just put damage on one person, kill them, now they can't damage you. Simple. The best defense is no enemies. So um, terminal prevents that. You go, you nuke player, they terminal. So players have to then like switch targets because you're shooting terminal, you might shave like a half second off of it. You know, mm. it has a huge health pool. That's just uh, 20,000, which is fucking insane. It's more than any yeah. in the entire game. So teams that were communicating and like positioning well were nuking someone and then switching targets and then trying to keep that other person in the back of their mind to, you know, send a missile their way or the odd like shot from any of their weapons after that terminal armor is ending. Have the missile on the way, even. Yeah, like, VBM, uh, I feel like would be really strong for that. I don't think we saw a lot of VBM usage, which was kind of odd, because I feel like that's amazing for taking out terminal armor. Yeah, just having, like, one on your build for no other reason than to secure kills is honestly... I would consider it. Yeah. You know what's a pretty good cleanup tool? I was actually running at my LARB, the uh, diffuser cannon. Because if you don't charge it, it's just a big shotgun spread, right? So you're going to hit them. You're going to do one damage. Yeah, at minimum, you know? And it's got a quick cooldown, too. Like, it's pretty much available for you. It's got decent yeah. range. We saw somebody... And when you charge it, it's got other utility. Yeah. We, we saw the uh, we saw somebody actually running Ludlow just for that. Because Ludlow, basically, it would just do it would just do the last hit. Because that's all you need. It's like, look at, the, uh, look at the ricochet range on this weapon. Nope, not that one. This one. See, look. Y'all see the ricochet range on Ludlow? It's actually not bad, like, at all. Like, look at that. Like, yep. no, so no you joke. In, you just tap him with a bullet, and that's a secret kill. That's just, that's someone who can no longer shoot ear shots at you. You know, it takes a lot of value off the board just doing that one damage. So <laughs> awareness and, like, you know, keeping your head on a swivel and yeah, telling your teammates, like, hey, his terminal's down. Like, finish that. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love this game so much. Look what I'm doing right now. I, I'm at 400 meters away doing chip damage with the Ludlow. Like that's so goofy to me. Like this, 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 this is what the Ludlow's niche is right now in this current meta. It's just finishing up people with terminal armor. Like Ludlow, we make fun of Ludlow a lot because it's not very good, but that, that it can do that. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think Chang Chen can do that, or um, <laughs> or anything else. Can Chang Chen do that? It can. Never mind. Ludlow sucks. I take it back, gamers. Yep. <laughs> yep. Terrible. Unusable. <laughs> I mean, Ludlow's lighter. Yeah, because so weapons like that still aren't really, like, good in 3v3. You can get carried while using them, but 
you know, maybe like having a single one to finish people, you you, you would never bring two because no, they're still not. in a problem spot. Honestly, rifles in general just are in, are an issue, just an issue. Cause like connects in this game, I feel like we're balanced around the assault boost buff. And because we lost a lot of that, because you know, Good riddance, by I say, because yeah, fifty percent extra, fifty percent extra impact on all kinetic weapons when you're assault boosting was insanity. Now it's thirty percent, which is not that bad. But I feel like a lot of kinetic weapons were like designed around that, and lasers weren't. So lasers just have better damage. Like why run double hair swing? You run double LRA. Yep. I mean, You'll probably still stagger the enemy with them eventually too. Like it takes long enough with rifles. It's honestly just as fast to stagger them with a laser. Plus you took half their health bar getting there. Exactly. It's just it, LRA is crazy. Like it, it, LRA, LRB, even the, even the regular AR are, are freaking amazing. Like look at this, look at this a, just raw damage I'm doing. I made a heavy biped with uh, Rensetsu ARs and a Coral Shield. You know, real nice defense stats, Burzel Booster, all the right tools to be obnoxious. And still could not squeak out wins reliably with the Rensetsu ARs. They are awful you can well, pack as much op stuff around them as you want they still suck well i'll say uh dirk uh skill issue you're bad at the game which is why you're bad with these terrible weapons owned oh true i never considered manual aiming them that was my problem <laughs> I, I sometimes i like just putting on double runs at two ar and just seeing how long it takes to stun the uh the test ac it's really funny like look it's at a nice <laughs> reminder <laughs> why you this. haven't touched them in forever it takes so long dude in a game where we could probably cover like an entire topic before you stagger that thing like okay honestly let, let's let, i'm just gonna you know there's some more editing work for me but 40 minutes and 40, 41 minutes on the recording i'm gonna have to start a timer right now to see how long this takes to, to stun them i'm right here 45 meters away y'all go ahead and talk let's about see something. if i can cover how they should fix kinetics before it staggers uh first of all yes definitely nerf ricochet uh kinetic weapons need to be like effective outside of close range against yeah. anything with armor uh, damage it's Rick, it's staggered, could go a staggered. little higher, but I think a cumulative impact would make them good to like stagger people over time. That's it. Oh my gosh, it's just, these these weapons are just so ass. I'd like some of the rifles should go into not like a sniper category, but just make it like a higher effective range and velocity. You know? Yeah, cause, like because like we don't have sniper rifles in this game. We just don't. Like the, yeah. only, the closest thing we have is the LCD, which is is cool. Like I like I like the LCD a lot. The charge shot's sick. You know, I'm a big fan of the, that's on yeah, the LCD. I would be fine with those weapons being effective at further ranges. I don't think it would like ruin the balance at all. I think it would actually just be more interesting. Yeah, it's like the LCD's range. Let me check it real quick. So this is at 400 meters right now. Ricochets just compress no, no ricochet. everything too much. No ricochet there, but if I have a Harris on, get this out. I got a Harris at 300 meters. 869 damage. It's like. It's just so sad, bro. It's like, why ever run a kinetic weapon? Like, why ever do that? Not to yep. mention, the target's not even moving. Like, this, this is going to be an issue because of, uh... Look at that. Look at This is a sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. Kinetics have tiny projectile sizes, too. Can't forget that. That's a lovely fact. Just uh, whiff. The... Yeah, you just freaking whiff all the goddamn time yeah. because the projectile is puny. If you had a bigger, more girthy projectile, it would just clip people more. Like a Instead, Hanzo it passes area. through any geometry it can find to somehow slip through and miss. It's, it's so uh, infuriating. It, it's so annoying. Look at this. I'm at 300, 330 meters right now. Watch this. 338. 10, 10 damage from uh, from Rensetsu. Because Ricochet. 40 damage from uh, from LRB. It's like, even even when it comes to ricocheting, LRB is just so much better. Like, it's kind of insane. Yeah, linear rifle. Apparently, snipers don't exist in AC. I agree, Alejandro. Exactly. It's like, why don't we have sniper rifles? Like, when we have, like, because that's the reason why rats run uh, missiles, because the missiles don't ricochet. Except for Traino, but Traino I would rather weird. be shot at with guns. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather, I'd rather fight against a, a sniper than a, and a rat, you know what I mean? Or at least a mix, yeah. God. All missile is just, like, get your damage all out at once and then run, whereas, like, with a rifle, they have to keep looking at you. What if you increase how fast it overheats, increase how long it cool down, cools down on the LCS? Well, the issue with that is that you're still getting a billion damage. It's like, it, it's yeah, not- Yeah, burst it's not damage cool. is best in this game, so it's still good. It's not the no. cool one that's the problem, because like, even if I had the only- If I was only able to shoot, so I'm on, I'm on the L- So I'm on LRB, LRA, and this is on cold too, this is 110. So, even if I'm able to shoot these things once, that's still 2,000 damage. <laughs> 
And then I get my stagger. Aside from LCS, I'm kind of mostly okay with how lethal energy weapons are. I just think kinetics need to be brought in line with them. It'd be nice, honestly, because it's just yeah. it's just so goofy, dude. It's like th these just do so much more damage. Like, why would I ever run like any kind of kinetic weapon? Also, we have no kinetic shoulder weapon besides stun needle. Stun needle is the only. Yeah, one where's we have. my Gatling shoulder weapon? I mean, you have Huxley, but like that's it. It ain't the same. It's just it's so unfortunate, dude. It's like we just don't have a lot in this game. I feel like when it comes to like, yeah. kinetics and like all, all the kinetics that we do have are just bad. Yeah, it's making the part variety seem a lot smaller than it is. Well, over half the parts are missiles, you know, that's cool. Yeah, like for a while there was enough with the current balance patch for me to be like, yeah, this is fine, we can stay here for a while, but I mean, putting up like 30, 40 hours a week on the game, uh, <laughs> I start to wish I could click those other parts. Yeah, it's like we have we have a decently good meta at the moment, especially, you know, it, it's decently healthy, no joke. I feel like if we- It's if fun. If we have a community ban, uh, ban Burzel and ban LCS, I feel like we could have like a really healthy meta. The thing is, like, I don't want to have to ban parts so early. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't want to have to get rid of stuff like Burzel and uh, and stuff like LCS because, like, it doesn't really limit creativity. It's more just the fact that, like, these are just so overtuned. I feel like it's just like a, a, just a simple balance, like number tweak, could really, really help here. Like, Burzel being a thousand more assault boost thrust than the second best option, which is a uh, Alula, is kind of insanity. You know what I mean? It's like it's like so. Burzel's assault boost thrust is a is ten thousand eighty five. Alula's nine thousand eighty five. Exactly a thousand more, which correlates to a lot more speed, especially if you're over lightweight. Isn't it like sixty in game? I believe so. Yes. But if you ban Burzel, then the difference from uh from a lightweight rat and a heavyweight with Burzel uh, is about like I think. 60 i believe because burzel is insane on lightweights and then if you make it like a lula only like basically you get rid of burzel it becomes like a 40 or 30 difference i think i mean i did the math at some point in discord i'll check it yeah the higher number makes it. a bigger gap exactly so like you'd basically eliminate rats entirely if you just nerf burzel which like uh, judging by my comments people hate rat so <laughs> yeah i like what nomad kane said like with burzel if like no one would run it if it wasn't substantially faster because its other stats are pretty bad pretty bad i mean like the quick boost ideal weight is one of the highest in the game can't mm -hmm. ignore that that's quite nice but it's still a 0 0.91 default if you hit that button matter. it's punish time you know you like, push that button people should punish you they can just dirt. shoot you with your shots at hey, that dirt. point you're not you can't dodge hey dirt quick boost sucks <laughs> Quick boost is bad. Like no one, unless you're running a melee build, which is a hella off meta because melee is not very good in this game. And I know people are gonna be upset about that, but like, I'm just talking about the meta itself. I'm talking about the tournament stuff like that. What we've seen, meta like, melee has never won a tournament. It's never even gotten close, except for like C Knight, who's running a who's running a build that's not even like I don't even consider that melee. It's mostly using the melee for punish. Yeah, it, it's like you're running basically just hammer kick. Like I showed that build, that video. I showed that build off earlier. It's like it's like it's, like, it's a rat with like a melee for punish. That's it. So basically, it's like we've we haven't seen like an actual just you know sword build like Pulse Blade or WLT or anything like that do really well in tournament yet. We just have we've never seen it. So it's like melee is when we get to it's exactly troll exactly. So issue is just like unless you're running a melee build with like Kikaku or something, so you actually can catch rats with a melee weapon. Like you don't use quick boost ever. You just don't do it. It's like why would you when assault boost gives you. You know, 30% impact resistance. I believe no, does it doesn't give you, it doesn't give you damage resistance. No, right? It's just impact resistance. I think it's just impact, yeah, resistance. Yeah, and impact damage. So like, why would I ever, ever, ever quick boost in this game? Like, I, I get I get a slight amount of, of speed. Like, that's fine. That's cool. Like, if I make a build real quick, let's do knock away your legs. Let's do, and I'll just make fucking silver lining. I don't know. And just make a a bad version of silver lining. <laughs> this could just to show us off. So like, I look okay. I have a. This is my quick boost, right? Like, yeah, I'm really fast. That's awesome. But issue is that that doesn't matter much when I'm just going to get obliterated. <laughs> it's like, I feel like, I feel like quick boost just needs some sort of defensive property on it. It really does. Cause like, I don't care about quick boost speed at all. When I make, when I make a meta build, I'm care about, I care about assault boost speed. What if they gave it the same stagger resist as uh, assault boost? We actually talked about that last time on, uh, on armor cast. We talked about it with cleric and blend. And honestly, I love that idea. Because then you could see Gills play. Like, could you imagine if Gills becomes really good because, like, Quick Boost actually has some defensive properties on it? Yeah. I can see that. 
You never put iframes on. I, I, that idea has been thrown yeah, around a no, decent amount. Hell Fuck no. that. No, 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 no. Iframes I on. Bloodborne I won't even entertain that idea. I won't even explain why it's a bad idea. It's not well, worth it, it. It's the funny Souls players that are they're thinking that. I mean, I thought it too. I was like, weird. Quickbus doesn't have iframes? I mean, that, make, that would make sense. But I, I really thought going from Souls, like, you would put that in the game. Because, <laughs> like, Armor Core Francis didn't happen. That's the only other Armor Core game I played. I mean, I was, so when I first picked up the game, I was like, Huh, I kind of expected them to do that. I'm so glad they didn't, because oh my god, iframes would be so bad on Quick Boost. Could you fucking imagine how annoying that would be? God damn it. Quick Boost becomes a lot better when you have limited turn speed. Yeah. But like, uh, it actually don't. is like incredibly important to the value of Quick Boosting, because that's where box stepping comes in. That's where like getting out of people's angles uh, comes in. You, that's not a thing in Armor Core 6. And that's when running heavy seems like a, a bit, detriment, but... you know, it's a turn speed. Yeah, and we don't have turn speed in this game. Nope. So, uh, so rip. Yeah, rip that. This is the only game in the series where there's no downside for overboosting and there's no, like, turn speed limiter, you know? And we can see it. We can see what happens, so. Yeah, it's honestly yeah. kind of, it, it's, uh, people want turn speed back really badly. But I'll be real, I feel like turns people make this game feel like ass. <laughs> like, this game good, is... dude. No, it can feel good. You play Light Max and Mech Warrior, and, like, you have limited turn speed, but it's still, like, pretty close to where your mouse is at, and, like, you very quickly can adapt to swinging that weight around. Well, I say that because there is, like, there's something that you have to think about with from software as a company. It's like, you're thinking about the casual player, right? It's like, that's why I'm yeah. pretty sure we have hard luck here, is because, like, Hardlock makes the game significantly easier. Like I, I played through the entirety of the game with uh with no hardlock, which is soft locking the entire time because I didn't know yeah, what the heck hardlock was. And the game was significantly harder for me than like a few of my friends who played through the entire game with hardlock because like it would just never leave the uh the enemy's like viewpoint because it's just really fucking strong in this game, especially in PVE. So like we have hardlock because of the casual consumer, and I'm pretty sure we have no turn view because of that too, because it would just feel weird, you know? Well, yeah, and in the PvE context, it just makes you feel like a god. <laughs> like, it's a like super a power, power fantasy. fantasy. It's yeah. the biggest power fantasy in any Armored Core game. Like, even 4 Answer pales to the power fantasy in this game. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Armored Core Fantasy do does know, it really I have well. thousands of hours uh, on that game. It's like, yeah, that. okay, you're pretty <laughs> insane, but, like, nothing in this game comes close to you. Coming from competitive fighters and such, netcode invisibility issues due to lat are probably the most annoying issue. Definitely. I 1000% agree, Troll. Hey, 1000% agree. The thing is, okay, when it comes to lat and visibility issues in this game, I feel like a lot of times with visibility issues, it doesn't really matter at the end. Because, like, most of the time when you get a, when you get hit by, a, by like, an assault armor or a, like, someone pulse armor in front of you, it didn't really matter that much anyway. It's like if I hit you with funny dagger and then, like, you pop pulse armor and hit you with assault boost, it doesn't really matter if my character goes like this. You're still going to get hit by it anyway because it's guaranteed to hit you. Like, it, like, you can't quick boost out there unless you're running, like, something insane, like NGI or something like that, with a really good quick boost thrust. It's like, it's just, it's just not gonna matter. It would be nice if quick boosting could dodge things like kicks. That would be really good, like, honestly. with any kind of reliability, instead of, like, a 5 degree out of 360 degree slice of your, your little angle pie that can actually dodge the freaking kick. Dude, like, defender said kick? I would love it. Oh, that would be cool. So what? What we it talk, comes we're up talking every. About? It probably comes up every show. Yeah, I, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. So what we mean by defender side kick, by the way. So there, there are two types of netcode in this game. There's the defender side and attacker side. Attacker side is stuff like a gun. You know, if I shoot the enemy and it hits on my screen, it hits on their screen. Or like it hits them. Now, if I shoot a missile at them and you dodge it on your screen, but it hits on me on my screen, you don't get hit because that's defender side netcode. My question is, why the fuck don't they use this more? Because like I'm like stun needle would have been way less annoying pre-patch and like honestly it kind of fell off really hard because it's just a stagger punish weapon who cares? Whenever you're like you can just do a billion stagger damage with other things too. But anyway, like mm -hmm. stun needle would be a lot less oppressive, you know, before the uh, before like we understood the game more if it was just defender side because then you wouldn't get hit randomly when you dodge How on your kicks for defender side. Maybe yeah, just it has to be. Because, like, then you could actually dodge him instead of being, like, you know, a billion miles away and still getting it's hit. It's almost impossible to dodge kicks. It, it yeah. just feels that way. Which is why I run shield. <laughs> yeah, shielding my, kicks feels nice. My, my newest build is just scoot him with a Viento and a Pulse Fly behind it. Like, I'm just gonna, like, be up in your face with scoot him and just hit you a billion times and then kill you. It's really funny. It's like, I don't care if you kick me. Go ahead, homie. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's really, really funny to just do that. 
it's like it's it's an issue of just um <sighs> when it comes to a, a game company like from software from software does not do amazingly when it comes to netcode this is a thing that they've been they struggled with as a company for a long time they're the nintendo of uh they're basically like a nintendo almost where like they they struggle when it comes to netcode but they're amazing everything at everything else now when you get to that, you have to come, we come up with like workarounds. This is why, you know, missiles are defender side. So like that. It's honestly really, really nice, but just use that net code and more, you know? Yeah. Use that logic. That's important for missiles, which it's important for missiles because there's a very specific way you have to dodge missiles at certain distances from the missile. The mm -hmm. missile knows where it is because it knows where it isn't. And <laughs> Like, a grenade, sure, it's not homing, but it has a 90 radius, like, death zone, basically, that if you don't get out of, you're likely going to eat a lot of follow-up damage, as well as the pain from the earshot. So, when that's hitting me, before I even get the warning from the other player, because of freaking, like, ping difference... That hurts. That hurts a lot. Any anything that's life or death should be defender side. End of story. Over. I with those degree. Like, I, I, I agree I'll, with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make a whole video on that. Just like what should be defender side, what to be attacker side. Because honestly, stuff like V, stuff like uh, you know, guns desperately need to be attacker side. If you make those defender side, if you made everything in the game defender side, this game would be unplayable. One thousand percent. It would be you. You yeah. would just you would just crumble against any kind of thing at all. Because then like, imagine a world where you just can't hit them. It's just fucking impossible to hit them. Yeah, watching your rifles hit and do nothing is, like, a pain in the ass, but, like, seeing, like, okay, my grenade missed, fair enough, I guess, like, whatever. If they can do a major overhaul to the netcode, I think we should just par have partial hits for some attacks. Well, the issue is, Nomad Kane, we've done some digging. Uh, uh, Limit Researcher and Melting Cube, and I believe Aphrodite as well, have done digging into the code. It's one value to change it. There's, like, one, which is attacker, two, which we don't know what it is, and then three, which is defender. You can just change it. It's not like... <laughs> is there anything with two values, since we don't know what it is? Is there anything with that two value? I don't know, honestly. Two might be Spectator. Ooh, it might be Shiro. But uh, oh. I'll talk to Researcher about that. But Researcher has done a lot of uh, digging into DS Animation Studio and just, like, the code in general, and has found this kind of stuff out. It's like, they can change it. And hopefully they do. I'm I've talked about this before, but did you know there's an armor core that you can, you can actually use rollback netcode on? Uh, it would be armor core for answer, right? On the emulator? No. Really? I mean, it is emulator, but no. All right. So this is about a year ago. Have you heard of Duck Station? I have not. No, I have no idea what Duck Station is. It's oh, a yeah. PS1 emulator. So recently, within the last year or so, they added rollback netcode to basically all the games. It's still experimental because it might bug Ooh. out. But you can actually play all of AC1 with rollback if you really wanted to do that. That's really fucking cool. I I definitely want to do that. That'd be a really fun idea. What's a rollback? Um, it's it's used a lot for fighting games. I, I will explain um, what rollback is because I I know a lot of this from like Slippy and things like that. Because yeah, Smash you do. Boy. I, so I know like what rollback is. Dirt Donk is the game instead of just um reading your inputs and sending that through, it tries to predict what you're doing. So let's say that if I'm I'm holding right, correct? Like I'm I'm holding I'm holding D in my keyboard. The game is like, okay, I'm going to predict you're going to keep going, you're going to keep pressing D, so I'm going to send that through. And then if I actually press A instead, or I go left instead of right, they will be like, oh fuck, and they'll roll me back really quickly to, to actually what I'm doing. And what it results in is basically no frame delay at all, and like no pit, and like very little issues. Right, you get a little like micro teleport, but that's less noticeable than the difference. Okay. Has there like ever been example, specifically implemented in an action game? I actually don't know. I'm not sure. I know the best like, example I can give you about like how it works is like um, everyone knows Smash, right? And like Amsa. So the issue that Amsa had for a long time is he had no players, right, in his area. Mm -hmm. So when Slippy came out with rollback, guess what? He can play against U.S. players and no one complains because that's just how good rollback netcode is. You yeah, know? Amsa's one of the best players from Japan, by the way. To give people some uh, some context, yeah. they play oh, Yoshi. Oh, okay. Jap really cool. Japan to the states. He's, he's, he's a Japanese like, player that's against like baller actually. Yeah. Dude, robot netcode is the future of, of online gaming, 1000%. It is it is kind of insane. Like the, the fact that a Japanese player can play basically seamlessly with uh, with uh US players is fucking awesome. Yeah. Predictive yeah. computing. Mm. It, it's not it's not impossible exactly troll, exactly. Red Yoshi the company with moms of fans in chat that, right like now. invented it was like GGPO by the Cannon Brothers, I believe. 
But no, that's sick. It, it, it's so fucking cool. Like, I'm so excited for the future of, like, online games in general. And honestly, once uh, once From Software nails their, their online netcode, because so much of, like, From Software's games revolve around netcode. It's like, there's, there's a reason why, like, um, certain stats, like, uh, you can't run... So, in Elden Ring's current metagame, when you're looking at, like, duelist tournaments, stuff like that, like, 1v1, no healing, stuff like that, um, like, you cannot run stuff like sleep on, uh, on cross-region, like, um, like, EU to NA tournaments. You can't do that. Sleep is completely banned because of, you know, ghost hits. Basically, when you hit the opponent on your screen, but not on the other screen, not on their screen, and they still get status build up. And sleep is really powerful, and you can just kind of die off of it. So it's fine, you know, North America, like just North America, North America, EU to EU, but EU to NA, it's completely unplayable. It's just the most overpowered thing in the entire world. So they, they have to restrict it. And honestly, if we had good enough netcode where ghost hits just didn't exist, it'd be fine. But because of the netcode being how it is, you have to restrict that kind of stuff on bad connections. It's just, it's so unfortunate, because like, there's a lot of cool stuff in that game that just doesn't work because of netcode. Like, it just it just doesn't. It's like, a, I know in Escapable Frenzy, for a bit, they just didn't fucking work on, on bad pings. They just get out of it. Which is like, that's so sad, you know? Perfect. And then we have Lords of the Fallen that came out recently, which is a cool Souls like, that just has terrible fucking netcode. So the game's like also already dead. as well, right? Uh, Lords of Fallen? I have no idea. But uh, I, I know that the uh, I know that the netcode in that game sucks, which is so sad because like I have so many Souls friends who like were really excited for that game's PvP, and then it comes out and it's unplayable when it comes to invasions Sash. like that. It's like, dude, they ha there's rubber banding in that game. You can get oh, rubber no. banded in a Souls game. Holy fuck, dude! How did you fuck oh, it up no. that bad? <laughs> yeah, Shiro says the invasions are completely unplayable. E yeah. It's just, it's honestly just gross. Yeah. Firm really does have to get it together in that regard. I think they have a great understanding of how to make stable games in their engine. It's time. It's, it's time 2023. We've been doing this shit forever. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, it, it's, I feel like From Software makes amazing single player experiences. But, sure. and, and, and like, there's, there's something to say, like, oh, they're just focusing on single player and PvE is kind of tacked on extra. I feel like it's not tax drawn extra. It's not their it's, focus. It's time but it's to start doing both at the same level. Yeah, because when, when you happen to when you have a player base like from softwares, like I've got 316 hours in the game. If I was just a purely PVE player, I wouldn't have nearly that much. Like yeah. I am, I am guaranteed going to buy DLC or the next game, whatever, because I'm part of this community. So when you cater to more to you know me and PVE PVP players, you have more guaranteed money basically as a company. It's like, a, the Nintendo is a perfect example of this. If they release a new Smash character tomorrow, everyone in the competitive scene is buying it. Because they have to for tournaments, and they have to for, like, you know, just practice against that character. Matchup knowledge, yeah. Exactly. All right. Look at, look at Titanfall. Like, that game, if they wanted to release Titanfall 3 a year ago, when their servers were dead, when the game was broken, when you couldn't play the online, the online community who would have been active keeping that game alive would have been like, uh... Hey, what about us? Like, you fucked us over. They would be really loud, right? Mm -hmm. Multiplayer players will make noise about a game. So what are they doing right now? They're completely fixing their game. They've got the servers back up. They, Isn't it thriving you know, now? Oh, it's thriving. You, They've built a lot of good so will. Well. It's awesome. So if they announce Titanfall 3 now, those players would be like, look at what we're doing in this game. It's sick. You should buy Titanfall 3. It drums up a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. So them take like from soft taking care of their pvp scene working on their net code and in future installments whatever updates um would just be good for the company like it even if be. it's still not the folks of their games a little more maybe would be nice yeah i mean it, it, it comes down to just like why not cater to both because like you you will be it's not like because I'm going to buy the next Armored Core game anyway, even if they don't change any of their practices when it comes to PvP, like, at all. I'm still going to buy it, because I love Armored Core. Yeah, I love Armored Core. 100%. you'd get more people invested in the game itself with that. Because the, the people who are spending 1,000 hours in your game, 2,000 hours in your game, the people who are playing PvP. Like, they're, they're not people doing challenge runs or anything like that. Like, you, you could see, I could see someone doing 1,000 hours of challenge runs, but it's way more common for PvP players to do that. Because like the fact that this game's been out for a month and I've already played it for 316 hours is kind of insane. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'd say the game has really succeeded as a test bed, uh, and it's definitely shown that the engine is fine. 
they don't need to invest a ton of money in their game engine for a while as far as i can tell just infrastructure so, i would say yeah, yeah they've got the infrastructure down they've got the assets down um like the updates for this game seem like they know like they've got oh, their finger dude. on the pulse of win rates and power levels of things kind of <laughs> uh whatever comes next is looking really good Oh, dude, I'm so excited. I can't wait for the future of this game. Because, like, the reason why we harp on it so much, the reason why we even have a podcast for it is because we love the game so fucking much. This game's incredible. Speaking of which, uh, which weapon uh, do you most want updated? Laser blade! So that you can use it. Laser, laser pistol. Blade. Laser pistol, you say, Bulls? I love the laser pistol. It's just... Okay. One second. <laughs> I, I just love running it. Yeah, I think laser pistol, like, it, it suffers from the deflection problem. Yeah, right. then when you rock 150 gen, it's just not enough. I mean, it's funny, you're just melting someone, but you have to be, like, in their face, you know? It's good for, yeah, a, it's good for a cat thinking. build. I feel like it's one of the best weapons on cat, even. Really? Yeah, I, I want laser blade buffed desperately, because this thing is so fun, it's so cool, but the charge time sucks, you can get kicked out of it, which is ridiculous, by the way. Cause like imagine hard reading a kick from your opponent and you just go for the spin move. Like I would, I, dude. How about this buff I on would it? Love that Hyper so armor. Much. Hyper armor would be fucking awesome, dude. I would love that so much. But like you also. It's like, the only thing you give is harper armor. You don't fix anything else. Just good harper yeah, armor. It's still just jump forehead. You know? I know. Like it still has problems. It'd be it funny needs, though. It needs a tracking buff or maybe even a hitbox size buff. But like it gives it a use at least. Then when someone's exactly. like assault boosting at you Not and around you. you to kick you, you can throw yeah. that. It also needs a speed buff, uh, like a speed buff or like a hitbox buff on the regular attack. Cause the regular attack is so tiny, dude. It's so bad. Please so buff fiddly. the bunk. I feel like you can't. If you buff pal bunker, I feel like it becomes on the verge of broken. Yeah, I, I think imagine... it's fine. Just being a punish tool, like that's fine with me. You know what? They should make the laser blade twice as long on the light attack. That's my opinion. Dude, that would be so sick. Could you imagine how fucking cool? It should would be? actually be like a long sword. Like it should be, be fucking more than a dagger. Yeah, because like it's it, it's like it's like much less range than the charge attack on the dagger, which is like fucking insane. And it also me. swipes slightly down, so we, like if anyone hops even a little bit, uh, sorry, mate. Exactly, it, it, it's so sad. Like I, I I love laser blade. It's probably one of my favorite weapons in the entire game, but it's just like I can only yeah. use it against people who are like. I'm either way better than, or I'm just desperately trying to hit them with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're not from soft, make it bigger. Make it longer. We'd love it. Dude, imagine it wouldn't be broken. Trust me. The actual fix is just making the hitbox, like, wider. Yeah. It hits people, like, vertical. Because there are so many times where I, like, barely will miss them on the second swing. And I'm like, wow, I would have won if I actually, if my weapon actually fucking worked. Yeah, you can see, like, some of the particle trail going through their foot, but it's not quite enough. Uh, another weapon I really want buffed is the lance. I played through the entire campaign with the lance on my on my arm. The second I unlocked it, I never took it off. But man, I don't know if you should buff that. <laughs> it's just really? Like a main yeah. weapon. I don't I, know. I feel like you can make it better without making it broken. Is the thing. It's like unless it starts winning every fucking tournament, I feel like it's fine. You know what I mean? I don't, it, I don't know. I mean, like, Here, oh, I don't here's think what you it's do. Like, here's what you do. You make yeah, it okay. defender side, and you make the hitbox bigger. You know what? Sure. Why not? I like yeah. that idea because then then you could you can quick boost away from it. Yeah, because when it's latency, it's like, oh boy, but then you slip out because it slips off your hitbox, <laughs> and it's like, all right, never mind. This weapon is actually buttoned, but, like... Exactly. Um, other than that, like, my big one is rifles. I've always loved using rifles. I love uh, that plinky, tickled play style, you know? I love how Harris is And they're the just game so right pissed now. in this game. They never hit, and when they do, they're doing 105 raw damage and 65 impact. That's double fucking digits, bro. And it doesn't even shoot that fast. I actually really love how good Harris feels in either. this game, but Ricochets just kill the weapon. Like they, they they kill the weapon. The weapon's fucking dead because of Ricochets. Which is just so sad, you know? Yeah, I want my rifles to work. So honestly, I what if they just remove the ricochet mechanic altogether? Like honestly. Nah, I like it. I just think it should happen at more extreme ranges. Mm. Like it should just be there to prevent being like silly with your range. You know, there, is there like an earthquake going on here? Mic is far. like freaking out, dude. <laughs> Wait, who's? Someone's mic is like getting bumped or something. That should be good now. All right, cool. Uh, oh, we lose oh. Dirk. Dirk is dead. He just deafened. Oh, there you go. The, the noise canceling is fucking terrible. And there we go. We're back. Awesome. And since you AR needs a big buff, dude. And since you AR might be the worst weapon in the game, but no it joke. Needs a rework. It's all connect rifles to the buff, like the whole I need category. Some exorcism. 
Dude, Red Tattoo AR needs like more than a buff though. It needs like a de it needs an <laughs> as Dirk said, it needs an it needs a rework. This thing is terrible. Yeah, that thing needs an intervention. <laughs> an intervention. But yeah, like I, I mean, even the scutter is better. Even the scutter and the turner, I feel like are better. I hate Tattoo scutter. AR. I don't understand why anyone tolerates that weapon. It's like look how much damage the the, the freaking Turner does. Like Turner Turner even Turner does like. It kind of just chunks. Like, look how much damage I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, it can do raw damage, ish, if lasers didn't exist yeah, or you missiles. Just, you just run laser rifle or uh, or shotguns or handgun. yeah. handguns. <laughs> okay, I get it, Dirk. I get it. It's outclassed. I just wanted to go through the list for the viewers <laughs> in case they forgot. Goro says, "Give us Armor Core four rifles." Can you tell us a bit about, about uh, Armor Core four rifles? Uh, yeah, they're, they're phenomenal. Hot. They were they have... like sliced bread. You can put that shell on everything. They're great. Yep. Assault rifles were good at stripping PA, rifles were good at just doing damage. You bring an assault rifle and a rifle and you're just vibing at mid-range. You can they're lightweight too. So like you have good reliable damage that's accurate, uh, and you can build a lightweight around it that can fight at mid-range. And when you're fighting at mid-range, you have way more time to dodge projectiles. Mm -hmm. So yeah, your speed is suddenly even more valuable. Ooh, Maple says therapist. What do you think about therapist buff? How would that even work? Just remove it. <laughs> just admit your mistake and take it out. You yeah, can't say fine. just admit your mistake and take it out. That's fucked up. Uh, yeah, I can. Just it's replace fine. it. Like, just replace it, like, entirely. You know, like, give me a different weapon. There you go. Yeah, or, uh, make it stats better. <laughs> like, fuck, man. I it, mean, like, hitting I that stupid, slow-ass projectile. What is that? <laughs> I forgot that's in the game. Damn, that's yeah, me. Who put this water balloon launcher in? Can I, can it's you got at least, like... water in it. Maybe, maybe increase the reload speed because like look how long it takes to come back. Like if I could if I could swap between like EG and, and double them? therapist, you can and watch what it does. Look look at the epic thing that it does when you charge them. Oh wait, yeah, what does it do? What does it do? I've never seen this. It shoots horizontally. Hi, kill me. That's so oh my cool. Goodness. That's look totally at it. worth. Which using makes, a hand slot for. Which is really funny because it makes it worse. <laughs> What a pathetic weapon. Only Archibus. <laughs> Only Archibus. There's yeah, no Baylor would never do that shit, it, dude. Right? All their all their weapons like explode. They're worse sin is rifles. It's like, dude, if if the therapist reloaded a lot faster, I'd see people using it on like a double stun gun build. Cause like what you would do is you'd like you'd go EG and you like you empty your EG and then you immediately swap the therapist, shoot that, then empty your EGs again. Like how how fucking cool would that be? Bonds, I think that's appropriate. They just got zero points in the cleric 200 point ratio tournament. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That in fact, it could be negative, but I, <laughs> I think I punch is actually zero. better. You should gain 10 points for having a therapist on your build. I, I agree, Dirk. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Like you have a fucking skull, then you can drop it though, and that's basically the same as having zero. So yeah, zero yeah, yeah. is the balanced way to do that. Oh, it, I think uh, it's punching is actually, actually better than running that thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, Mo's right. It's RAD. It's not Archivist. You've been corrected, Dirk. Oh, known. it's RAD? Yeah, of course. RAD parts are the worst. Can't, all right, let's what, talk about yeah, that for a second, actually. About, Certain brands just suck. Isn't Boss uh, made by... No, Boss made by Balls. Never mind, take it back. Yeah. Certain brands just suck, RAD and I don't like that. Unique. One second. RAD, RAD makes... Don't they make the Pulse Blade? Or am I stupid? No, they don't make the Pulse yeah, Blade. Yeah, no, the Pulse RAD Blade's made by like a 1F. What, is the R what does RAD make? They make the Bad Cook. That's fine. AP is not stored in the balls. You're wrong. All right. They made the, the only good thing hey, they make they is the like rift. the parts. They made the upper rift. Don't they make the record legs too? And those are like pretty fucking good. Yeah, they made the record legs. Yeah. They made. All right. Uh, I hate. I hate how the Carla parts look. So that insults me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But but Carla parts are are really good though. Like stat wise. Like. Like, main dash yeah. is really, really good, you know? It's really good in Coral Gen. Because it decreases the delay by, like, I think it's the a, best in the game. A billion, yeah. Like, look, like, look at this. Look, let me put on Coral Gen real quick. I think quick. it's like 3.6 for the charge delay. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Spring Chicken? Yeah, they make Spring Chicken, but Spring Chicken's not very good. Like, honestly, there's a lot of reasons to just run Mind Beta over Spring Chicken. Yeah, look how, look how quick the Coral Gen comes back with main dash. Goddamn. I think it's That's under three gross. seconds if you actually time it from when it's empty to full. It seemed it seemed like even less than that. Like look, look at this. Let me show you. I mean, it will be delayed for you to stream, but like, 
Yeah, <laughs> well, but really, the question is, where is my Elcano heavy? Where is my Elcano heavyweight? You know, I don't know what soft. that means. You know, I don't know what that Elcano means. Elcano made the Alba frame. Oh yeah, dude! Fucking the Alba, Alba frame is awesome, dude. I fucking love yeah, the Alba. Yeah, can you imagine board. a heavy Alba, dude? Like any blocky heavy. We don't really like. I don't count the Tian Kang. Like it's too out there. I want like a traditional blocky heavy. Damn it, dude! Like like a Lego. Like I mean, they have Basho. Basho is very blocky. Like crest, man. Like uh, like if it was just an up armored version of Molander, be cool. I would be incredibly happy. Elcano is a lightweight foundry. Yeah, yeah, but you Let's know someone over there just did a fat line of coral and decided that, <laughs> hey, maybe a thick one would be cool once. <laughs> oh no, man! I feel like I feel like you, I feel like you have to stick with what you're good at when it comes to your company. I mean, the RAD like, is good. Like all those parts things, are a one-off, so. you know. That's true. I mean, you could just get like something commissioned. I mean, Snail's head was commissioned, wasn't it? Like in lore. Which, like, can we talk about that for a second? Why the heck did Snail get the ugliest head by far commissioned? Like, look at this thing. It's so Man, gross. Man, he paid for that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know why. It, it has a funny little face. It's true. It does have a funny face. Good point. Good taste. And then, <laughs> uh, the other custom commissioned head, uh, Veril. Veril's actually sick. Veril's amazing. Yeah. Like, that's one of the best Michigan heads in the game. Michigan has good taste. He's like, I play a spider AC? Give me a spider head. It's actually insane. Like, spy, like Zveril is a wonderful head, dude. The thing, this thing is like meta as fuck. It's like you have, you have the Veril, you have the VB44D, and you have the Mind Beta. Those are the three best heads in the game. Like by a lot of. Veril's the best way to cosplay as the All Mind boss. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's like I, I feel like. You know, what do y'all think about the balance of heads in this game? Like legitimately. I think it's all right. Like they're close enough together in stats that you can kind of pick for fashion and not what? like nuke yourself. Honestly, what I would love getting removed from the game, at least on heads, is system recovery. It's like, there are yeah. heads that are just Fuck not it. viable because you can find that, like, Bastion heads were one of my favorite ones in the entire game. It looks fucking sick to me. But, 84 system recovery, so if I ever go against a stun gun build, I'm fucked. Yeah, you just die. Look at the hammer heads, like, system recovery. Yeah, yeah. It's one and then if you had bow. that, it's the other way around where the stun gun player might as well just go back to the garage. Exactly. That's legitimately what I did in tournament. I had played against a stun gun build on the Larpster. I barely lost. But you know what? We slept on this head. I played him again. Demon dropped like 10k. Just dead. It, it's so gross. It's like, why does system recovery exist? Like, there's no, it, there's it affects like three weapons in the game. Well, four actually. I forgot therapists exist for a moment. Yeah, leave them alone. It's it's more of a single player stat. If they restricted it to single player, I wouldn't care. Yeah, honestly. Because like picking a head for environments is a traditional thing in Armored Core. You do it in like many many of the games. Really? I actually know that. That's cool. Oh, yeah, dude, in uh, Armored Core, like, third gen, if you don't bring a biosensor head on the Kisaragi missions, you might get clowned on because you can't lock onto living organisms Oh, yeah, I it. remember that. That's also, a like, thing? That seems so too. gross. What? Oh, yeah, or if there's ECM on the level, say goodbye to your ability to lock on and your radar. Yeah. Unless you have enough ECM resistance. That's so goofy. What the heck? Yeah, it was kind of fun. And then there eventually there was, like, an expensive head that did it all. Yeah, can we talk about attitude? Actually, that's a good point, Bonds. Can we talk about attitude st stability for a second? Because, like, I feel like the stat is still, like, king. It's the probably the best stat in the game, or it's one of them. It's like, I don't really care yep. about my defenses, like, at all after a thousand. It's like, I'm just going to focus on... You know, 1v1. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. In a, in a three with you, it doesn't matter. You can have a billion attitude stability. You're still going to die instantly. You just die to inst double ear shot, then they'll clean up the rest, you know? Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. it's okay to have, but it it's not like as do or die. I feel like he had uh, anyway. Coral Shield plus maxed up stability. Yeah, actually, you can like survive double ear shot. You might be able to survive too. I don't know. Maybe. It, just, it, it comes down to like. Uh, Bond's talked about how like the attitude stability is so varied between heads. If you look at the uh, the mag attitude stability, it's 536. If you look at the min, it's 207, bro. <laughs> like that. Even I don't. The mid tier ones are what like. If, what if you less, throw out bro. the Tian Kang, you know? Like, ignore that stupid mistake of creation uh, then i'll also throw out the jailbreak then too so the wrecker is 322 yeah. which is like 200 less uh so there's really like okay. the See, yeah, it, yeah, it's that's like bowls. an okay range i actually need to put them in the at dirk donk bowls <laughs> yeah bowls yeah they, they asked who the third head was or the third third wow. head, the third person was the third head on the tydra <laughs> what to say that there you go so i i have now bowls and dirk donk in my title there you go 
But yeah, Bowles is a Bowles is a top player. Won a few tournaments. Only a few though. Not that many. Only a few. You know. No, not that many. Actually, you've got. got only, you've really only. I, honestly, dude, you kind of only won like you know two, as far as I'm as far as I'm aware. Uh, oh yeah, only only two. <laughs> yeah, only two of them. Uh, only two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bowles scared you. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Yeah. It just comes Honestly, down to like... I, I just pick my head for fashion. I, I feel like that's going to bite you in the ass, though. Like, real it, bad. It doesn't. Like, the... The small change in stability isn't really enough to swing most matches. Like, in a non-tournament setting. That's, that's more what I'm talking about. Like, we yeah. talked enough about tournament setting. In the casual setting, it heads seem fine. I feel like it's okay for parts to be, be, be bad. You know, you just have to recognize, like, hey, this is for fashion. Oh, this is for actually. Yeah, maybe like the pick your the core more for stability if you're picking a less stability head. It's like it's okay for like some builds have bad matchups. Like, I don't think one build should be like the best of everything, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't think um, either. Playing best in slot all the time. I was still talking to a uh, rap player about the Burl's band. It's like, oh my god, this is stupid. Let's the melee cancel catch up to me. It's like, that's fine. It's okay to have a bad matchup. Yeah, melee cancel should probably be able to catch, considering it's like eight hundred speed. That needs to get into <laughs> point blank range, and it needs to be the fastest. If it's not the fastest, then that's stupid. Yeah, and guess what? The melee build just loses to like blazers. You know, yeah, it like, loses to literally everything else. It's like you're taking like, away it's their, fine. their one good matchup that they have. God, yeah, because we if we if we look at the melee build right now on here on stream. You can see how fucking fast it is. It, it's just, it's kind of ridiculous. This is 700, like, 800, it's something. It goes, in that it, you, can go, you can go above 800. It's really fucking fun. Like, honestly, I feel like the moment, I, I feel like I think you said this, Balls, last time I had you on. Once, yeah. uh, once melee is good, I think the game's in a good spot. Like, I 1000 agree with that take. Did I say yep. that? I said a lot of things. I don't know. <laughs> I think fights should end in less interactions, too, or more, more interactions. Yeah. In general. Yeah, see, you can see, you can see on my left a bit there. You can see like how fast I'm going with Kikaku here. It's like you get to like 800. Like, it looks speed. like fast forwarded footage. It looks like it, modded art, like the versions of this game I've seen. Like, let's make it for answer, you know? Yeah, exactly. I, I have seen what you're talking about. Yeah, but yeah. No, uh, Kikaku speed is insane. Like, you get to eight, again, you get to 800, which is fucking insane, dude. I keep losing the melee. Hey, Bonds, here's how you here's how you deal with melee. Which we got to talk about this. Shield. <laughs> shield. shield. Oh, I love shields. shields I've been are, using them a lot lately. Or poor lasers for What's are, your favorite shield? My favorite shield in the game is Scootum. Like I, 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 I fucking, I'm starting to love Scootum, bro. It's so fun. But like, Word, shields dude. absolutely obliterate melee. Can we talk about that in a second? Because like, melee kick, dude. Little. Like, shields fuck over melee so hard because you have like one really big swing, right, with your pulse blade or with your WLT. And then what do you do? You try to combo that with the zero men, you try to do that, whatever, whatever, whatever. You what if I just take alone. what if I just take 40% less impact? Or actually no, it's like not 40% because PS has an insane fucking instant guard of 0.6 seconds and 80 impact dampening. Dampening. Yep, I, I use that thing and you can pop it open whenever you want. Like almost whenever you want. Look how, look how much cool I, I'm holding the shield button real quick, chat. Look how much look how many times I can quick boost. I but that was six times, right? Something like that. It's like, that's ridiculous, right? Like, that's insane. I, I get into the guard like five or six times. Yep. Unpunishable quick boosts. One, it's sick. two, three, four, five, six. I get, I get into the guard six times. Yep. So they come in, they melee, you do that, you shoot them with your LCS because you're uh, based, and then <laughs> because you're they, based. they run away and you, you vibe. And then they come in, they try to melee you again on cooldown, and you block it, and you shoot them with the LCS again. And yeah, like it, it's it, it so just goofy, prevents dude. the rushdown builds that rely on kicking, that rely on hell, even Zimmerman's. Yeah. Like, pop that thing open, and they can't shoot. Dude, legitimately, I, I feel like uh, people would complain about Coral Shield a lot, but it's PS that's really dangerous. I feel like I feel like PS is the best shield yeah, in the game. Yeah, Coral Shield in a 1v1 it, on some builds isn't as crazy as Pulse Shield. P Pulse Shield goes insane. Pulse shield builds. I was actually enjoying it. What was it? Was I playing against you and I was running out some random ass storm at AC that shield and it's kept parrying everything? Yes. <laughs> it was very funny. Yeah, th I mean, that's kind of <clears throat> the thing, though. Like, it... Prevents those situations, but when you're against, say, like an LRA build, 
where it's just constantly shooting lasers at you. The shield just doesn't provide as much. Still good for kicks, but yep. it's not like a solve all, which is good. To that the cool shield larb, cool shield larb just kind of loses to other larb because you're losing out on one LCS hero. That's it the makes issue. your hitbox bigger, so you're not gonna miss either. Yeah, because like it, people also uh, like don't don't realize that about shields. It's like cool shield makes your hitbox way fucking bigger. <laughs> it's like look at yep. this. This is this is not a visual effect. This is your actual ass hurtbox. Like you are fucked, yeah, my friend. Yeah. If someone has a bazooka. Let's connect two dots here. Someone has a proximity <laughs> detonating bazooka, and you have a coral shield. They can't miss. They're they're Basically, rusty yeah. in that moment. <laughs> they're if rusty are, in that moment. If people are unfamiliar with the mirror matchup for like lobster, if you miss LCS shots, like just one, that could be like the whole round. It's really bad. Yeah, lobster, just a damage race. Lobster is is just a DPS race, which is really fucking annoying. I feel like they they definitely need to touch lobster. It is it is just gross. Which I mean, that's when like co cover comes into play and stuff like that. Also, what is this lob what is this larpster I made? Oh, this is oh this was a uh this is a fucking thumbnail AC, so I didn't really care about the overburden. Let's, let me fix it real quick. <laughs> but anyway, it's like <sighs> what do I even what do I even fuck up here? Like what do I even do? Is it just mine did anything mine beta head? No. Is it barrel head? I need barrel head for this. Anyway, it's like when you have the highest DPS build in the game that doesn't really care about stagger, you can't really play around it very well, or you just kind of lose. Yeah. Which is a big problem in a game like this, when you're trying to make like a, a balanced video game. It's like, you it's, just, just kind of People can argue, it's like, hey, stability is the best stat, why don't you just run this on a quad? The answer is just the EN defense, you gun a heavy. It's like, almost like 1400. Actually, I think my, the first one I ran ahead was like 1404 EN. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, this and what one, is that? This is 1283. This one's uh, energy fence. What's what's the highest energy fence head you can get? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, ephem it's ephemera. It? This one's 1397 now. Let's mine see. are the arms those different on mine. What, let me, what let me check you real quick. Uh, tool arms. Yeah, tool arms give you 1400 energy defense right there. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. Like 1.4k energy defense. This is the best larpster in the game right here. This is what you and want. That's like what a flat, like 40% damage reduction on the end. It is, yeah, because that's how defenses work. So every uh, every hundred is 10% more. Oh. It's every every ten is like a percent. Yep. Why is this thing named Big Cutie? It's big and cute. And it's true. Lobs lobsters are kind of cute. Like the animal, not the not the build. I think the build's cute too. I like the round rifles and the around everything honestly it's just how do disgusting. you dps that well you don't you just no run. you don't <laughs> and you don't damage it from anywhere outside of 150 well, meters too because the defense shots are maybe you could do something hit them with that get your stagger combo and just okay, run away like, okay but like that requires you to be next to them and then go huh? they have to be on the ground Boom. And <laughs> not assault boosting at you to kick you yeah <laughs> which like also can we talk about this for a second Kicking the LCS is a true combo, chat. Did y'all know that? Yeah, it just hits. <laughs> I, I just saw that recently, because I never kick, kicked. So. Kicking the LCS is a true combo. Which means kicking the double LCS is a true combo. Yep, which means if you're a reverse joint, you're dead. Because that's probably enough to stagger. Because that's a thousand stagger, plus your kick. I'm bad at kicking, because also this is an AI NPC. Or just die. <laughs> Dude, I suck so bad yep. at kicks because I'm just like going for it. It even input thinking. reads with no latency. It's really Imagine funny. if this bot was trying to deal with latency. <laughs> it's just die. <laughs> uh, it's just. But I don't kick because it's just loss of DPS if you don't connect. And even if you do connect, it's barely like a. True. He's, he's lobster minded. <laughs> yeah, like, that's just no point. Also, can you run 128 on this too, if you really want to? Yeah, you, you can. can. That's what I was running. Actually, with the tournament I ran, I didn't run Coral. I ran the 128. Yeah, I don't know and how I was you like, would... wait a minute. If I'm having issue with rats, and I just went out the, the other lobster matchups, why not just run yeah, you, Coral? You switched to mine beta head, and now you're good. And like your your supply efficiency sucks, but like doesn't really matter too much because I have this 12 percent more damage. Okay, yeah. why does the mine beta have really good energy efficiency? Because this game is silly. Owned. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Like, um, if you remember the tournament chat of how when Kine won, 
Because he was using some quad kicking someone. I literally tell him in chat, it's like, stop kicking. And then he started winning. It's like, wow, I would have thought. <laughs> it you was know? really funny. Because, like, you just don't kick with this build. Like, you can, especially against, a, uh, like, a lightweight AC. Especially on, like, ladder or something like that. You can kick, and you can just fucking obliterate them. But, like, you just yeah. don't have to. Like, you can just shoot. That's the yeah. issue. That's the issue with the game. The best build in the game should be hard to play. Lobster is arguably the easiest build in the entire game to play. Because <laughs> you're extremely tanky. Yeah. You have extreme DPS. It just doesn't matter. It's like, you just you just lose. And you're not that slow with Burzel, you know. You still can ape with it, you know. Yeah, you can get into the fighting range. Well, yeah, there, so, you're not you're not side strafing at top speed. Three ninety five gives a shit. Exactly. Kick loop boots are unugly just for RJs now. Yeah, kick kick loop with uh with like Zerman. There was Zerman is, is definitely just for RJ. I agree. Seen that around a little bit. It's cool. It works. Yeah. Uh, it's not unbearable to fight if you have a shield, but uh, if you don't, and they're in New Zealand. Good luck. <laughs> and they're in New Zealand. I yeah, feel like that eventually... kick hit you before you saw the animation start. Good luck. I, it's funny because people were like, why nerf I the Haldman? Why nerf the Haldman? That's why. Because <laughs> kick loop builds. God, it's just so fucking goofy. But honestly, Think it's... about this. Weapons with high stagger just make them defender side. I, I don't know about that because like, then we have something about I think like, most shotguns. bullet type weapons are fine as attacker side. I really don't care. Yeah, I... I... I think it's completely fine. It's when it's like a, a bazooka or a grenade cannon or a laser I cannon. I kick loops. I need to know. It's like, just, damn, that hurts a lot, huh? It's pretty rare that I like see a Zimmerman shot go to the side of me and then it hits me. That almost never happens. Yeah. It, it has. I have screenshots, but you know, <laughs> it, it's not as often as I see a morally like go off the side of my screen and then I die. Yeah, it's like it, it all depends on like because okay, lightweights will never be good in this game. Just like what people, what the ideal, like what the ideal of what people want a lightweight to be. Zimmer and LCS kick, press all shoot buttons. I mean, there you go, Vomzy. But like people want so the ideal lightweight is something like you know rusty you know like it's like really aggressive like up in their face shooting a billion times stuff like that you know like uh sam Poo, i think he has run setsu rf um and then like you know twin blade you know he's got he's got a really sick setup like the rusty's fucking awesome you know all that kind of stuff but rusty's boat's never going to be good against a meta build because you just can't fucking dodge because everything's like you know defender side or attacker side i mean so it's like, yeah, yep. you're really cool, you're really mobile, that's awesome. But until unless Quick Boost gets some sort of defense like defense on it, like some sort of like, you know, the the um the impact like reduction 20, that we talked about. 30 percent or something. Exactly, something like that. Honestly, I'd probably even go like 30. Yeah, I, I really would. Yeah, you can you can quick boost over the larbster, you know, you can do it at high speed, but they're gonna 180 and you're gonna get hit by a laser as you see it fire. Exactly. Even the even the nerf version, we have to run like the diffuser. You'll get staggered, and you'll just die. <laughs> QB iframes? No. QB getting no. Uh, assault boost stagger reduction? I'm on board. Plus, that would make things like the one, two, three, four, five interesting. Long quick boost. Dude, Long gills would be so period. fun. Could you fucking imagine how fun gills would be? I I love playing with the gills and the one, two, three, four, five. I like those different quick boost types, but man, they are not great. Like look how look how long one two three four five is. It's so fun, but just like I would never run this because like this is this is just begging to be earshotted from three hundred miles away. You know what I mean? Yeah. As soon as you start it, crash. they're just gonna watch you and fire. Oh no, it didn't. And the earshot's gonna be right in your path. Exactly. Especially if it's a good player that can manual aim, you're just fucked. A vertical quick boost, but that's like a new mechanic though. I feel like we might see that for the next game, but not not in this game though. It's like there's vertical just so many. Quick boost. God help me, dude. That would. I don't know. <laughs> how about a quick boost down? How about that? That could be neat. Shoots you into the floor. Just you take damage if you do it too close. You, you do go, like oh. a cool butt stomp and you go like, hup! That'd be funny. I mean, you already have skybox builds like with Gridwalker and stuff like that. So I don't feel like we need any, any sort of vertical, like more vertical movement. Imagine if it didn't have to work on a controller. Imagine if it didn't have to work on mouse and keyboard. Either or would be fun. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. So on the limited rule set, right? Um, for Polaroid's tournament, I think you had to have one of, like, you couldn't be the same weapon, it had to be, be, like, something completely different, but in the same category. And that tournament, I ran the wing, right? But I don't run that anymore. You know why? The wing, you mean soup? 
No, the just wing the wing cannon. The, the wing cannon it has like three. Oh, LCA, yeah. I don't run that anymore. You know why? Why? Look at the stagger compared to the fuse. No way. Is it worse? Fuse just better, baby. No way! It's like barely worse. It's like ten worse. And I don't have to sacrifice anything anymore, like you have to do what? with the wing. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, it's a little it's... heavier than the LCS, but like it's manageable. Yeah, like seven point six k. That's still three k less dude, than a Karasawa. Dude, it's almost half the weight and almost half the end load for a diffuse. Fix the yep. goddamn Karasawa game, please. Karasawa, I feel like is is Karasawa is in a weird spot because like I feel like this thing could also be like extremely extremely good, but also like. Can just obliterate because look at that impact. Like nineteen. The downtime will always give it a punish window, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Also, you can I kick like it to remove shots it. shots with it too. With the carousel, it actually does a lot of damage. If you get kicked, you also lose the charge. That, that, that's like really been really really inconsistent for me recently. Um, I figure out how to keep the charge. Yeah, just like spam the click button to make sure you, you like it twice. Keep it back up. Yeah. Really? Yeah, There's you basically have to refresh your charge hold. You know weird. how to, um, let's say you have a charge right, but you don't want to shoot it. You want to let it go without shooting it. You know what you do? You act boost. like you're going to shoot it, then you boost. And then you'll, yeah. you'll, you know, get rid of the charge, but you won't fire. You know what I mean? Weird. Huh. I mean, you could also just probably press R. If you, you know? uh, refresh it, too, you don't have to, like, lose the charge completely, either. It's just, I, man... There's a lot of stuff that uh that the game needs at the moment. And uh, honestly, I feel like the meta's in a good spot right now just because we have like new developments happening every day, which is really cool. Like people are coming up with new like rat cat hybrids, builds that can beat lobster but can't like hit but also can beat like a full on rat. Which is really, really cool. Like the Melting Cube is making it like has a really neat build that's just like straight up just purges weapons when they see a lobster. Like you just purge for speed. And you gain like 20 extra speed and you just rat. And you just you can just hardcore rat with that build. Uh, also, the drop like, option. I think purging weapons is really cool. <clears throat> That's something you would do in uh, for answer. Like you'd bring a uh, a sniper cannon on your build just in case the enemy's ratting. But if the enemy's not ratting, like that's just a heavy weapon to have in close quarters. You could drop it. Or they'd <laughs> run like double nuke, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> Lag switch your car uh, and easy, incredible. For like the hardest mission in that game, you'd bring two of these silly cannons that uh they have a huge long charge time that makes you vulnerable. And you just shoot them and then you drop them because you don't want to ever charge them up again. You know how I did that mission? Like first try S rank, right? Nah, I blade it though. I, I did ride in tank. Or ride in quad, excuse me. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, the old. You, know, you just basically want to elf strike them because as soon as you take like one off the board, it's a 1v4 and then 1v3. Like, um, I let like three on one side and two on the other, and I would just deal with it. Yep. I find blade spamming is the best. Oh, no, for sure. Anyway, yeah, this game's got like the variety improved for sure. I need to do another PvE playthrough. Have you guys tried PvE since the balance patch? Dude, I really want to do another playthrough, but the issue is I have to like restart the entire game. I want to do a loader four playthrough. I really want to. Yeah, the legend, dude. Dude, there's something appealing about doing it with the classic parts. It's like the canon it's like, way. It's like a Soul Level 1 Souls playthrough, you know? <laughs> it's like that same vibe. Oh, but you got Joso Gen, bro. Like, I don't know, yeah, the man. Gen is the only, like, genuine pain part. Uh, yeah. One interesting challenge category is no shop runs. No shop? That's kind of cool. Yeah, so you can just get, like, hidden parts and, uh, like, Ooh, combat log ones. Profit. Ask question things of the fall game. Appreciate it. Hopefully, I've been doing well. Uh, but yeah, no shop sounds really cool. I'm not gonna lie. You use a massive ton of money and you can't spend it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There. There's Probably a guy there. that's it's there to buy your freedom. That's it's the buy your freedom run. The, you know what's going to save all that money. I'm not sure if he's completed it yet, but there's a guy that just runs like a max defense like biped and just walks and kills all the bosses. No boosting. No dodging. Just walks <laughs> just... and shoots them. That's, That's awesome. It. And he somehow kills them. I don't know. You know what? Let's see a buff I... for the chainsaw. Now that I'm just like, you know, we're just talking about stuff right now. I want his shield to be better. Yeah. Sure. Sick. Yeah. Why? Why the hell not? Dude, I, I, it's honestly, a piece it's, of shit. It's Give a, it something. It's a forty percent impact reduction and forty percent damage reduction. What if it was like sixty percent? Make, Make it 80, 80, dude. I, I no longer. 80. Make it eighty, dude. But yeah, only from dude. like a forty degree cone in good. front. 
Like, it's not wide, right? You're holding it in front of you. It's not wide, but... Okay, yeah, I was about to say, 40 might be kind of insane. Just, like, charge straight at people with it up. Like, if they flank you, they yet they fully damage you sure let's see how fast can i make a you know i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna cook while y'all talk one second i'm gonna cook <laughs> <laughs> this is this one of the strongest parts of this game by the way it's just like the sheer by the amount numbers of, it's funny the numbers. yeah there's like there's like there's like sheer amounts of uh with some value of stuff you can yeah. do in this game like uh, the sheer amount wheelchair. of like sandbox ability you can have in this game is fucking awesome run that on a wheelchair and just like ride around you know I'll try yeah, that out. probably do like Basho arm, maybe like a maybe a hand missile, honestly, just to accumulate, and then have your stagger spike from the back. Honestly, if I was making a build just to shield with it, I wouldn't care about the arms. Yeah, you know, I'd rather just focus on the better weapon. You know what I mean? All right, so here's here's what I cooked up so far. Oh my god, you can! Oh no, it puts away the chainsaw. Could you fucking imagine if you shoot the double LCS while chainsawing? You shoot the left one with it up. I, uh, the right one. Yeah, you can. Oh, you right can't one. fuck that's so sad oh that's worse than a shield damn i wonder if you got, I wonder if you can do it with uh with quad hover i bet you can't but let me see you cannot that's so fucking sad dude also there, well, you, know, there, you have that issue <laughs> oh yeah it, it doesn't hit maybe you just have something in the back you can charge right then when you fire you know yeah but honestly it's just like it this game is this game sandbox is so deep it, it's fucking awesome i can't wait for this game to be more like well balanced so that way we can just like really dig deep into the sandbox and do some crazy shit. you know what i'm talking about yeah it's like this is a 379 oh, speed uh build right now with chainsaw as a, as a shield can you shoot <laughs> i mean these are these i'm gonna are need to uh yeah. i'm gonna need to call my cutoff point here soon okay that's fine. Uh, is there any other topics you really want to get into Honestly, I feel like we're kind of done. Like, I'm, I'm just like, you know, having fun with the game right now. Yeah, this is... We, we oh, you even talk about your biped, rambled. not your biped, but your um, preset tournament. Have you talked about that yet? Uh, I'm going to be talking about that in the intro, but basically I'm running a tournament this Sunday where you can only run presets, which I think will be really fun. I'm excited oh, about yeah. that. I've got a bunch of OBS shenanigans to run a challenge run with this campaign. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's cursed. It's It's cursed armored core. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. I'm excited to see that. Because you reached a thousand followers recently, didn't you, Dark Dog? You goober. Good shit, man. Yes, sir. Milestone oh, time. Four digits. That's crazy. Whoop. And that's a shout out for Dirk. Next stop, the world. The world? Good luck with that one. Yep. P I'd be fun to build. Over. I want to run for the preset. I don't know. Maybe just like meme on Freddy and just see what happens. Uh, you could go for you could go <laughs> Ring Freddy, dude. People, so many people were like, I, "You should ban Ring Freddy. You should ban Ring Freddy. Ring Freddy sucks. <laughs> Ring Freddy is so ass." Ah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna snail. There you go. I'll just see what happens when I snail everyone. Dude, snail's generator is so bad. It's really funny. Dude, nah, me, me running, I, I don't care. I'm gonna running the 128 gym with no laser weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's a thought that counts. Okay. Is it though? No. Dude, no joke. <laughs> this boat's kind of sick. Like, look, look what I've cooked up real quick. It's just, it's it's fucking uh, 383 boost speed, um, chainsaw build with with duo threes and a uh, hand missile. Missile rat that chainsaws you when you get staggered. <laughs> oh no! God, I love it. <laughs> I oh, like, what the hell was that? It just, it just, it's just pfft. yeah. How does the chainsaw miss like that, dude? Dude, there there is a reason why in my melee tier list on uh, on like week one melee tier list, I have chainsaws unusable. <laughs> this thing's just the worst pile bunker. Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like I still it's feel that It's a boss way. killer for sure, dude. In oh, PvE, yeah. dude. Like, if you want to kill I, like, speed kill I, put that thing in it. Dude, it, like, it, it's so funny. Like, this thing is so fucking good for PvE. But it just doesn't fucking connect 90% of the time. Or not 90% of the time, but like 20% of the time. Yeah, AC know. size targets tend to slip out of it. Mm -hmm. Which is unfortunate. But anyway, I feel like that's going to be the end of the, uh, the Armored Cast this week. Um, thank you all for joining me on Twitch chat. Uh, on Twitch, that was very fun. Thank you for joining me, Dirt Donk and Balls. Can you do a Balls shout out or no? I don't care. <laughs> Too late, you're being shouted out. Owned. Wow. <laughs> Sniped. All right, that was fun. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, dude, of course. I go bed. I make soup. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> My wife wants to get some food, so I guess I'm, I'm gonna dip. Go for it. I'll probably be live for a bit longer than me. Go edit and go to sleep, probably. Alrighty, man. Well, peace out, Twitch, and see you later. See y'all, guys. Oh, yeah. We're
Gu- Gundam Thursday? Eh? Yes, Gundam's happening Thursday. So if y'all, all right. if y'all are interested, join the Discord for that. Uh, we, we're currently watching uh, through Discord uh, Discord Origins, Gundam Origins. We're on the fourth episode right now. So you want to catch up? It's There's still sick. time. It's so fucking cool, dude. Gundam Origins is awesome. What's the guy's blonde hair? Is it like Char or like? No, Char, that's why yeah. it's real. Well, I can't a, spoil it. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're, you're spoiling yeah. it right now. So calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the thing, they can tell, but anyways. <laughs> hey, thanks for 300 subs. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, now let's play Good. some fucking armor. Let's play some fucking armor core, guys. Get over here.